Dr. Wong from International Specialist Eye Center. I'm here again to talk about another topic. Today, we are going to talk about retinal detachment. This picture shows a normal retina, whereas this picture shows a detached retina, which is visible on the left side of the picture. The retina is a special nerve layer that lines the inside portion of the back of the eye. The function of retina is to perceive image that is focused by the front part of the eye and it is analogous to a film in the camera. The space that lies between the lens and the retina is filled by a special gelatinous substance called vitreous gel. This transparent jelly is usually quite solid when we are young. So it has a consistency like a solid gel um, akin to agar agar. However, when we become not so young, there will be liquefaction changes in the jelly where the gel become more liquid. The liquefied gel tends to contract and separate from its attachment on the retina. And this contraction is usually quite harmless and over time, the whole jelly would be nicely and cleanly separated from the retina as shown in this picture. The process of separation of the gel from the retinal surface is called posterior vitreous detachment. Now, posterior vitreous detachment or PVD for short is usually manifested as sudden onset of floaters. You see a lot of floaters because the clumping of this jelly as it separates from the retina causes a shadow in your vision. Fortunately, most people do not have any ill effects from the separation of jelly from the retina and this usually separates over a course of one month or so. However, some people do get complications because there is strong adhesion between the jelly and the retina and as the gel starts to separate, it may pull hard enough on the retina so much so that it will tear off the retina. This picture illustrates a very freshly torn retina at the top part of the picture. And if a torn retina is not repaired, it would lead to a condition called retinal detachment, where the retina actually separates in big sheets away from the wall of the eye. This would cause blindness if it's not repaired. The symptoms of a detached retina is described as a veil or curtain of darkness that covers from the side of the eye and much across your whole vision. Eventually, you will lose all sight. The aim of a surgery is to put back the detached retina to its original position. And if you come early and in skilled hands, your surgeon can achieve this aim in 95% of the time. If you are fortunate enough to come and see a doctor and we diagnose a torn retina without a detached retina, then you can actually use laser treatment to fix the problem. This photograph of a retinal tear, which can be seen as an inverted U-shaped tear at the 7 o'clock meridian of the picture, without any retinal detachment. And in this case, we can use laser treatment, which is actually multiple spots of very intense light, which is applied to surround the torn retina, so that this intense burns of uh, lasers would create a scar and that seals the retina and prevent it from detaching. In summary, many people see sudden onset of floaters or flashes which is due to the separation of the gel. This process is harmless, however, because you will never know if you have a torn retina, you should be seen by an ophthalmologist for a full examination as soon as possible. If your floaters are very dramatic, and especially if it's associated with sudden loss in vision or a curtain of darkness that covers part of vision, that may be a minor sign that retinal detachment has occurred. In short, retinal detachment is an ocular emergency. Remember, if you have sudden onset of floaters or you can't see from part of your vision, you must come and see an eye doctor as soon as possible. With effective operation, such as vitrectomy or sclerobuccal surgery, 90 to 95% of patients will have recovery in vision. If you present early enough, sometimes you may avoid the need for formal operation 
as laser can repair early stages of retinal tear. Until the next time, stay safe. Bye-bye. <music>